In this lesson, we're gonna explore what is authentication and what is authorization. If we look at the skills assessed, we're now diving into this new category of describing identity, governance, privacy, and compliance features, and starting off looking at the Azure Identity Services. So again, this start of authentication and authorization, and then we'll dive into exactly, well, what is Azure AD? What is the functionality and usage of Azure AD? And then describe the functionality and usage of things like conditional access, multi-factor authentication, and single sign-on. So we're gonna dive into all of those various things. So authentication and authorization. So we'll often hear about authentication. You may also hear this as auth n. So authentication is all about the idea that I wanna establish and verify the identity of a person, or it could be a service. Applications have identities to enable them to interact with other resources. This is all about proving that person or service really is who they say they are. So this is all about validating identity. That's the goal of authentication. And we can think about doing that validation in a number of ways. Historically, that validation was done by something we know. We're used to the idea that we have some secret, for example, a password. Now this is evolving and just using passwords is really not something we like to just focus on today. We think about stronger authentication. We think also about, well, something we are, so this could be something like biometric. This could be our fingerprint. It could be that 3D vector of our face. It could be something we have. So we have could be some kind of token it could also be our PC itself. We hear about things like Hello for Business, which is part of this trusted platform module in our laptop or computer that has a key that is known only to that machine. Maybe we unlock that key with a biometric or maybe a pin, which is something we know as well. So authentication, it's proving the identity. You really are who you say you are. Now, authorization comes afterwards. So we've proven who we are, and you'll also hear this called Auth Z. Now it's about, well, what we can do. So I've proven who I am. Now, as that identity, what am I allowed to do? In Azure, we always think about role-based access control. The idea that there's some role and it's given to an identity at some kind of scope. So the pattern is I have to prove I am who I say I am through authentication. And then once I'm authenticated, then that identity has certain privileges, certain rights. So that's the authorization of what I can do.